This is Tuesday. It is January the 11th, 2022, and I'm coming to you with our devotional reading today from heartofashepherd.com. The title of the devotional, How Will You Be Remembered? Now, our scripture reading, two chapters, 2 Kings chapter 11 and chapter 12. And I invite you, always open your Bible and uh, you can stop and start this devotional as I go through it. But I'm presenting to you the devotional that I've already written and has been published today. Now, uh, if today's scripture reading sounds familiar, even the devotional somewhat, you're going to know that it was from a parallel study that we've already completed in Second Chronicles 22. Now, rather than submitting you to an exhaustive study of this uh, uh, devotional today, Second Kings 11 to Second Kings 12, I'm going to use it as an opportunity of a review of personalities and events that we find here. Now, in Second Kings chapter 11. There are four historical events. The first is Athaliah's ascension to the throne of Judah. Who was Athaliah? She was the uh, daughter of uh, Ahab, King Ahab of Israel, and his wife Jezebel. They were wicked rulers, you might remember. And Athaliah had married Joram, who was the uh, son of Jehoshaphat. Well, uh, she became the queen, and then after her husband's death, Jehoshaphat, her son, uh, Ahaziah, rose to the throne. Well, Ahaziah was also killed later, and Athaliah saw that as an opportunity for her to claim the throne for herself. And so she did, this uh, queen of uh, of the lineage of two wicked rulers, Ahab and Jezebel. Well, as she aspired to become the queen of Judah, she immediately had assassinated all the sons, and I would say the grandsons, uh, 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 her grandsons. And so she immediately tried to destroy anyone that would have any claim to the throne. Well, there was one exception, and that is the daughter of King Joram, fled the palace with the youngest child of a Messiah. And who was that? That was Joash. Joash would become the king of Judah. And you have that recorded in verses 4 through 12. You might remember that Joash uh, was taken uh, to the temple, where for the next six years he was kept in safety and secured by Jehoiada, the high priest. Well, Jehoiada used those six years to teach and to train and to give this young prince a love for the Lord. Well, the day came for him to be crowned king. He was seven years old, and Jehoiada, the priest, presents him in the temple where all the the leaders of the military and all of those who were part of the priesthood gathered to anoint and to crown him the king. Well, Athaliah, who was in the palace nearby, learned of the noise and what appeared to be an insurrection. She was hearing the shouts, God save the king. And so she rushed from the temple in a rush from her palace into the temple. And there she found her grandson, Joash, only seven years old, but wearing the crown of the king. Treason, treason, she shouted. And Jehoiada, the high priest, ordered that she be taken away from the uh, temple where she was slain. Now that brings me to the fourth event in Second Kings 11. And that is the sacred covenant, because Jehoiada made a covenant between the Lord, the king, and the people before the Lord. Immediately, the temple of Baal, all the images of Baal were destroyed. The priest of Baal was killed. And uh, the king then was sitting on the throne of Judah at only seven years old. I have a closing thought for you. And it is, never underestimate the influence of leadership, whether it be the leaders of a nation, a state, a city, a church, or a school. The observation of Solomon in his Proverbs still holds true. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people 
more. Now I'm going to let this be the end of the first devotional today, and I will follow it up with the second one over 2 Kings chapter 12. Thank you for joining me, and bye-bye.